Hey guys, it's Wednesday, September 1st here. I'm out at the Shelby Ham Fest and I've, uh, all I've got with me is my phone, but I thought I'd make a little snippet along the way, just of stuff I pick up and maybe uh, cool things I see here. So uh, we'll stitch this together over the next few days. Um, and I've only been here about maybe uh, 30 minutes. I pulled up, parked my vehicle here. Brought a little U-Haul trailer with me because I'm gonna stay up, I'm gonna stay some nights here in Shelby and uh, won't be going home. So uh, just something to put stuff in. And I went and rented my golf cart, but on the way back with the golf cart um, over here, bought some tubes, hang on. Now in all fairness, these were not out in the wild. These were some guys that saw me that know I you know, I hoard tubes and called me over and said, hey, I brought you some tubes. So this guy's from up near Asheville, uh, brought me um, one, two, three, four, five brand new, <laughs> never used tongue saw 6550s. A couple of them are labeled uh, RCA, the others are uh, Sylvania, I think, but um, brand new tongue saw 5550s. Um, the guy beside of him, said hey you're into tubes i said yeah so uh, i started looking here and i started digging through this i saw 71.99 and uh, 6pq5 another 71.99 you know i was starting to see some audio tubes and i, and I didn't really didn't he started to bring out the second box over here and i all i said to him was what would you take for all these i said how about 60 bucks and he said nah uh how about 75 for all of them so i paid him and i don't i didn't even know what was in it okay um so I started digging through and there's just some random stuff, but then I come across, there's a Western Electric 310A in here. And <laughs> lo and behold, believe it or not guys, out in the wild, this is the first time I've ever picked up a 300B. I, I bought them off of people before that have had them and knew what they were, but like at a ham fest, first 300B. I have no idea if it's good or not. Um, and the rest of what's in here looks like a 6146s, maybe a metal 6L6 uh 12 ax7 down in here but um that and that uh made my trip worth it anyway that was uh the second pickup i made was this stuff right here let me show you the first all right this was my first pickup um i'll tell you what you, you can tell they're metal horns right no plastic going on here or fiberglass or whatnot i'm gonna let you guys tell me what these are and yeah they've got uh Great big horns on the back of all three of these. And I asked him what they wanted for these. Uh, got these for a hundred bucks for all, uh, for all three of these. So it's uh, a good deal. I picked up a, uh, a Duquesne amp, solid state, and a uh, university driver here, it looks like. And it's got a big dent in it. So I don't know what kind of shape it's in, but any rate, that's, that's thus far, one hour into the ham fest. Just rolled up on a guy, it's got a nice Ampeg, uh, amplifier here guitar amp and uh, looks to be all original he said he thought it had the original tubes in it but at any rate picked it up I, I paid a couple hundred bucks for it these things aren't cheap and uh, he knew what it was worth a little bit so I was unloading a minute ago and uh, grabbed this for 65 bucks it's a uh, SR1000 it's a newer unit not quite as old as um, you know the classic stuff but it's a little scratched up here but that's a real wood piece. I could sand that down. It would look okay. Uh, the top veneer looks good. Uh, spinning wheel and all work, but I have no idea if it works or not, but I thought it was worth the 65 bucks. Two other items I picked up here may not appeal to my audio fans, but a uh, brand new in the box uh, D104 brand, uh, Golden Eagle. And this thing is mint. I, I've had several of these in, in my life. They've all been pitted up. Uh, this thing's like it came out of the the factory and then this this goes with a browning mark 3 set it's a little uh browning 180 linear amplifier uh they're just hard to find and uh i picked this stuff up uh, mainly because it was a part of my childhood and it is starting to rain here in shelby ah and i just pulled into the shop here and uh it's pouring down rain but check this out so those speakers i was making you guess earlier on these are some metal multi-cell uh but check this out Custom built for Duquesne by JBL. And so I don't know, I, these, I'm new to this one. So uh, I'll have to look that up, but I, I picked up three of these, um, all good to go. All right, so I looked up these horns, both the horns and the uh, drivers, and they're both made by Duquesne, uh, which as you guys know, made a lot of uh, the Western Electric uh, gear on contract. But these were uh, all JBL based. So these speakers are actually Vitavox speakers and you can see them here, the single 
um, cell three uh, cell drivers, single stack three cell drivers. You can see they also had some, uh, you know, multi stack here, but the ones I found were were this right here, the single entry, and um, and then the actual speaker. I mean, the drivers themselves, the Duquesne 5P350. What I found, it's a uh, Phenelic uh, JBL LE 175 HP is what those are. So um, we're going to hook them up and see how they play sometime. Uh, these might become part of my barn. Hang them in the corners here. By the way, if you guys know anything about these Vitavox uh, horns or the actual uh, Duquesne 5P 350s, i.e. JBL LE 175 HP drivers, please shoot me an email or uh, reach out to me. It would be much appreciated. Just walked up on this Atari reel to reel, 100 bucks here, and a distortion analyzer for 50 bucks. I think I'm going to get both of them. Ended up getting the uh, Atari MX50 and the distortion analyzer for 125 for the pair. Guy says he doesn't know whether either one works. I noticed the Atari is missing the uh, pinch roller, so could need some work, but uh, I thought it was worth. I thought it was a fair price. All right, ran across this. It's an old Scott. Um, if you can see here, the Scott Shield Grid Unit uh, by the Scott Transformer Company, in Chicago. Anyway, it's full of blue architect tubes in it. I uh, mainly got this for the tubes, uh, complete with the manual and everything. So, got it for a big price of fifty bucks. I didn't even didn't even negotiate with him. I knew the tubes were worth a lot. Here we are Thursday about 11.30. You can see, you know, not a ton of people out here, but it's starting to get filled up a little bit. I picked up a few things this morning, a uh, Heathkit HO10 um, monitor scope in beautiful condition, just absolutely mint. Found this bag full of uh, uh, 20 or 30 orange drops. Um, some of those really cool tool, two old tube sockets, the uh, military ones. Uh, this just had a bunch of uh, 5814s in it, so I picked it up for a couple bucks. Found two old bird watt meters. Uh, one of them's got a 1000 watt um, HF slug and a 5000 watt HF slug. The slugs were worth more than the meter, and this was a meter I picked up, no slugs. Old RC30 um, tube manual and an old heat kit capacitor tester in uh, really, really nice shape. It is now 12.06 and uh, bought this uh, beautiful Hickok 6000A. So it uh, doesn't have the old 4 p.m., but this has got the um, a Compactron and whatnot. So this and, and some of the others make up a good match here for uh, newer and older tubes, but that's a good deal. So I was riding around a minute ago and a guy waved me down and said, I've got something for you. Uh, Guy's name is Joe KP2AE. Um, handed me a bag of tubes here. Um, some nice tongue saw, um, 6L6s, uh, some 6AU6s, and it looks like a 6LQ6. But uh, he said he had had these, uh, picked them up somewhere, and uh, knew I was a tube guy. And uh, I just want to say thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Getting to be a good bit of people here today. Just looking through this stuff. It's nice. Collins rig, hammer on, some old uh, Browning Golden Eagle CV here. Some really big tubes here, full 1000 a It's about three o'clock, just rolled up on this guy. He was unsetting and I picked up just some odds and end tubes, 6S and 7s or whatnot, but um, it was a nice Globe 245 in his mix. And then, uh, oddly enough, he wanted two bucks for this. <laughs> And then this, he had a beautiful pair of uh, XF1 fat base mullards, and um, he said they both have been tested on a TV7. Anyway, I paid 140 bucks for those. I thought, you know, it's they're not those things aren't free, and he knew what they were worth. So, but it's a good day. Um, you know, you can see it's starting to uh, more and more people set up here. Maybe we'll ride around a little bit and show you guys what's going on here. All right, about four o'clock on Thursday. Um, Hot bucks for a little uh, 147A tester. Let's see what else I got here. Just some random pulls. I say that. <laughs> a pair of 283s I got off a uh, boat anchor guy. Um, 
trying to remember. Six, 50 bucks. I got it for a pair of those. This I got out of a bin. Two, tubes were all two dollars a piece. It's a, a nice 245 uh, engraved tube Cunningham. This is a nice 245 Radiotron. A nice uh, O1A here. And then just some random 6L6, 6S and 7 kind of stuff. I think, oh, nice mower there. So just some random tubes picking up out, but not a lot else today. I'm, but I'm going to pack it up, take it home this evening, and um, we'll be back bright and early in the morning. All right, we filled the golf cart up here, and a uh, bunch of tubes in one lot, we'll see. Uh, triplet 3414. And a bunch of tubes here on the back. Okay, guys, here we are Sunday morning following the Shelby Ham Fest. This was my haul, uh, for whatever that's worth. And I'm going to try to just walk you through it kind of slowly here. First and foremost, the triplet uh, tube tester. Probably one of the nicest TV7DU tube testers I've ever owned. Uh, that came out of the, uh, the lot from Nick. No, it's not for sale. Uh, let's see here. Decade box, resistor decade box, a really nice one. This is a uh, RF watt meter, um, coaxial dynamics. You can turn a little knob and uh, read forward and reserve, reverse, and it came with six slugs. Um, some old, uh, you know, oil style caps there, uh, four microfarads, a pair of gang one of those. I mentioned earlier, I found those. There's 40 of those in the box. And then uh, these are what they are, those old metal stuff. And these I picked up somewhere else along the way. Another TV7, uh, fairly nice. The guy said uh, had a sticky meter on it. So uh, I kind of know how to fix sticky meters. If not, I've got a spare meter for that. But uh, not for sale at this point in time, maybe down the road. Uh, the 6000A I showed you. Just some random coax, and uh, Mushi is checking it all out here this morning. What do you think about it, Mushi? Yeah, I hear you. All right, I mentioned the illegal amp that I bought. It's a CB amplifier. Uh, I think I paid 30 or 35 bucks for it. But I bought this there too, this sonar. This is a super nice old sonar radio. In case it needs a little cleaning up, but these things, these old 23 channel CBs are coming back in vogue. Kind of old timer uh, tube radio type thing. Um, all right, let's see. Nice uh, mic that goes with the sonar. Um, this absolutely beautiful Fisher SA16. And hang on a minute, let me take you upstairs. All right, upstairs in the barn here, but hidden away is a beautiful Fisher console that I picked up that a buddy of mine had that he, he stole the SA16 out of it and sold the SA16 on eBay. Um, any rate, I kept the console. It's got a nice record player, everything. So I'm going to put the SA16 back in it, get this thing all original, and we'll use it somewhere down here in the barn. Another nice console with a pair of matching speakers that go with it. Um, just a hint of some of the stuff in the top of the barn. That last console didn't come from this ham fest, by the way. All right. Just happened to run across as I was leaving an old uh, Golden Eagle Mark III CB radio, uh, which matched up, by the way, with the uh, 180 amp I'd picked earlier, which had a nice D104, all for 240 bucks. You can't leave that. I mean, that thing on eBay would have cleaned up nice, and I recapped it would sell for a thousand dollars plus. As you as you guys make the catch, I am um, a ham guy. I also like the old CB stuff. Picked up the old stoner um, CB stuff, and I'll show you why I picked up the stoner CB stuff. Um, it's just, it's some classic stuff. Back in the day, this was like, you had to be a, uh, a wealthy person to afford the stoner stuff. Picked up this Galaxy uh, DX2517 here. Long story, I know somebody looking for one. Um, pair of Golden Eagle D104s. Oh, up here on the card, I found a nice pair of uh, brand new uh, Centron 805 tubes. Uh, these are very similar to the 211s, just have plate caps on them. Uh, maybe I'll build something with that pair one day. And probably my pride of the whole show here, I stared at this thing for a couple days, you know, it's the R390A with the uh, with this CY979 
case that it goes in that is like unobtainium from what I understand. I always wanted really one really nice foot anchor uh, radio, so there it is. All right, just a wide variety of tubes I picked up. Uh, you know, this had a lot of rectifier tubes in it. But, you know, I was buying these boxes, you know, maybe I had 10 bucks for the whole box kind of thing. Um, there again, that new D104, just some random tubes and bags. But you can look, like that's a nice uh, 6L6 GC, another 6L6 GC, a bunch of 6S and 7s. I mean, there's good stuff there. Uh, that was thrown in with that. I haven't even gone through it. Don't know what's in it. Nice old Variac, another nice Variac there. Um, that Marantz unit, some more random tubes, some more random tubes. Those 5814s, that distortion analyzer. Uh, let's work our way over here. The Atari MX50, the thing is like mint. It's beautiful. Uh, we're gonna get it restored. Picked up an old Elkin amplifier for 40 bucks. You can't leave that sitting there for 40 bucks. And this goes with this back here, and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, picked up a couple old Masco amps here. Uh, these were Nick's. By the way, got this from Nick, okay, uh, as part of this sale. But check this out. Probably 10 years ago at a ham fest in Charlotte, I picked this up off of Nick. So he had restored this one. They're not exactly matching, but I thought both of them came from the same guy. I, I kind of wanted to own both of them. Yeah, my buddy Jeremiah picked up one of these Masco's. All right, that's a um, an impedance bridge, a nice one. Uh, picked up an old CD uh, antenna rotor there. A, let's see, a bird watt meter, some type of old amplifier that runs uh, 6L6s. Uh, another old um, Tram Titan 2 CB with uh, some 6L6s on top of it. Yeah, super nice audio transformer. Looks like Atlantic transformer, but uh, you know, 115 on the primary here and all your working voltages. So this would make a nice uh, two amp power supply there. That, that old capacitor checker. Let's get back in here and see. Okay, back here we have that Ampeg amp. There's those tubes I told you about. Underneath it's that Duquesne amp. Random box of tubes along with all those uh, Arcadis tubes I picked up. The signal tracer, the little scope I mentioned, uh, Heathkit scope. Moose, you, you're checking it all out, aren't you there, buddy? You want to know what is this doing in your barn? Um, I think total, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four bird watt meters. Three of the four had slugs in them. And honestly, what I paid for the meters with slugs, the I could... I could separate them, sell just the meters and keep the slugs for free, or I could sell the slugs and keep the meters for free, uh, but good deals. Um, some more tubes in boxes I bought back here. All right, all these two, these four boxes plus the bin, plus the crate down here, paid a guy, I think 140 bucks for all those tubes. And I did a little bit of pre-sorting enough to know there were some good audio tubes in there. I'll show you some of those. All right, pair of VT25s, uh, a U245 globe, 501, uh, I mean a 01A, a uh, RCA 5R4, some more 6L6 GCs, a new 6L6 GC in the box, some uh, 283s, those mullards I mentioned to you, some more 6L6s. These were just some old Bernier dials I picked up. I actually paid them $5 a piece for those. Um, and just, you know, some old 6L6s or whatnot. And I've not gone through the rest of these yet. Uh, I have no idea. Found a couple of these in a, in a lot there, uh, three of them. <laughs> you just can't beat a good gold pin 6201 Amperex. I mean, that is top, top not 60J8. We'll sort through those. Anyway, that one piece, this, so you've got, you've got a receiver, a transmitter, uh, all in one case here. I'll probably keep it all together, but what was really crazy was, you know, this thing's full of Western Electric parts. So Western Electric Transformer, an old, um, looks like a uh, UTC Special Series Transformer or Choke here, a bunch of paper and oil caps, an old Variac. Anyway, I rolled up on it, it was interesting. It was all in the wooden case. Um, 
but it was too heavy to haul. This wooden case was starting to shake apart. So I took it, I took some of it apart other than the piece in the bottom, just so I could haul it in the back of the truck. Um, but anyway, I rolled up on a guy, he said it was his dad's. Uh, he said, it's not going home with me. And I, I said, uh, I said, well, I'm interested in it, but what would you take? And he kept saying, make me an offer. And I kept saying, ah, you tell me what you want. He said, how about 50 bucks? I think I said, how about 40 bucks? And so I got this for 40 bucks. Um, I don't think I went wrong at all. But all in all, what do you think over there, Mushy? Uh, he loves sleeping on my cart here. So uh, <laughs> any rate, that's our haul. Um, super happy to have gotten this unit. The guy was wanting 825. We kept over three days. I kept saying, you know, lower, lower, lower. Finally, I rolled up Saturday, you know, two or three o'clock and said 600 bucks. And he, he said, are you serious? I said, yes. He said, you caught me at a weak moment. I don't think you want to haul it back home. And so I ended up with that. So super happy. Um, that's the haul. Now I got to put it on the shelves and uh, <laughs> sort it all out and do that kind of stuff. So guys, I'm super happy. Thanks for watching. This was the Audio Pickers haul from the uh, 2021 Shelby Hamfest here at Blue Glow Electronics. Thanks you guys for watching. And uh, as of right now, none of this is for sale. So don't reach out to me. Down the road, if it is and when it is, I'll let you know. But as you guys know, I sell very little. Um, but thanks for watching everyone.